So this here is Steve's sheep farm area. And basically it's a sheep shearing plant, but it has a bonus of uh, taking out the cows too. What happens is it all starts here. This little green patch is basically about the only place animals can spawn in this area. The uh, rest is all sand and whatnot. And they eventually fall in the water, they travel on down, and they get ready for uh, processing. That's what we call it. Um, basically, the clever trick here is that, well, there's a few things going on. Uh, pigs and chickens get cold out of the herd by uh, basically having a little area here that's only one block high. So the pigs and chickens go into there and get the run of the cat time and die off, which just leaves us sheep and uh, cattle. There's so many cattle this time, but anyway, usually there's a mix. Uh, what's the clever thing here is that as a cart goes by this area, it picks up a sheep um, by some miraculous system. The sheep love to uh, travel in carts, and so they just get sucked in there. So let's fire this puppy up. So what this does is it's a there's a series of boosters and whatnot, and basically the whole goal here is to get a cart that goes past the sheep farm area, the sheep holding pen, and brings you to the shearing area. So let's get to the shearing area, and there's a sheep right on schedule. I could just take the gray fur, or I could, uh, you know, uh, dye this one. Uh, I'll just get the gray fur in this case. This guy, I'll dye him. And I hit him. And that's basically all I need to do is I just can watch the sheep go by, die him, get him. And there's a little switching mechanism that basically alternates where the sheep come. They go to the right, to the left, and so on. Uh, just because the, the delay here is just the bottleneck, is that how slowly the carts will go through this area. Ah, there's some nice rare black hole, so that'll make Steve happy. He's saving up for some special project. So anyway, that's the basic idea. Uh, let's just finish off the rest of the sheet and I'll show you a little bit about collecting and uh, sort of how the carts are going through and whatnot. Um, Steve also sort of realized later he didn't really need the whole water holding area. He could probably just have that little green area and just have carts, uh, just have the track zip through that area and pick up sheep and so on. Well, that's good enough for now. Let's go collect. And so, hmm, somehow a cart got down there. That's interesting. We'll clean that up later. But basically, the uh, the goodies got collected from there. And let's just show you how the carts normally are supposed to go. I don't know how that one snuck by. So there, the carts just got shot off. So it's safer a little bit to come down here and look. You can see the other carts coming here. The ladders hold the carts up. And at the end, the, uh, the fence under the um, sign there doesn't hold the cart up, so the cart will drop when it gets to the sign. But the sign is important because it holds the water up there. So that let that through, and that's how it works. So there's another sheet, and uh, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Bye.